Hello, Kate here, mynaturalhappiness.com, creator of the Seeds of Change program to help you go from hamster wheel to happiness. I hope you're well. I hope you're having the most amazing, amazing day. I thought I would jump on today and talk about an, a, a tool that sometimes we don't allow ourselves to work with to deal, you know, help with anxiety and depression because so often when people come to me, they're feeling so stressed and so worn down and so tired from uh, the modern day-to-day -day life, uh, especially if they're still in the corporate environment, because I help two different sets of people, um, some who are in the inv corporate environment and they're wanting to just deal with stresses, anxiety, strains of modern day-to-day -day life in a natural way with TLC and love and care and continue on their path. And the other uh, uh, people I help are people that are wanting to build a business and they're wanting to perhaps leave the corporate environment, move into self-employment life and want to know how to actually set a business up and how to do what, what I do so they can bring some cash to the table, pay the bills whilst looking after themselves. So they're the two different branches of people that I help and I thought I'd talk about something that except, affects both sides today and that is anxiety and depression because if you're working and 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 you've got stresses and strains of um you know, if you've got a boss that's trying to, you know, micromanage you and you are feeling as if somebody is watching every single step of the, your day. I've had that in one particular job where I had somebody who wanted to literally, they were managing me from a different place. And because they couldn't see what I was doing every day, they wanted to literally know everything about my day, diarise right down to bathroom breaks. It was just horrid and hot. The anxiousness what I went through at that time was just horrendous, the stress he put me under. Um, luckily, thankfully, many people complained and he um, uh, went on a management training thing to help combat bullying in the workplace. So I'm saying, it's a conded out. But anyway, um, karma is a wonderful thing sometimes, but you know, it helps well to happiness. So it's, you know, there's always an edge, there's always an edge. So I was chatting to somebody about it this week and I thought it's been a while since I've mentioned this. So so often when we're trying to um, relieve tension, relieve anxiousness, uh, move out, um, you know, work with natural tools and techniques, we think about just for today we do not worry. Just for today we'll let all things go. Be in the now, be in the moment, meditate, mindfulness, etc, 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 which all work so well it is a core of everything that I do and it works incredibly um, it really you know and I cannot it is life-changing for me and life-changing for many of my clients so it, yeah absolutely 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 and the truth of the matter is sometimes we have so many worries and so many stresses and so many strains if we're trying to push them down and push them within then it can hurt it's about releasing not pushing down it's releasing not pushing it down and so one of the tools that i share with people and i am resharing it with you today instead of trying to schedule time or as well as <laughs> But, you know, I don't want to add too many things. Schedule time to, to uh, meditate, to be mindful, all the rest of it. Schedule time to worry. Put it in the diary. If, it's, if you've got so much stuff going on, um, you know, it's one, a tool that I've worked with in the past when I've been going through stressful times is literally is to say, right, okay, I know I've got on. I want my mind wants to keep thinking about this. I I can't put this out of my mind. It's not releasing. So um, between five and half five, I will allow myself to worry about it. And I'll allow myself and I'll get into, you know, I'll literally go into a pit of worry, stress, all the rest of it for that half an hour. And I will set a timer on my clock, uh, on my phone or whatever, and I'll allow myself to completely worry, cry, be anxious, be everything that I'd, wa I'd want to be in that half an hour um, and get it out because when you release it and you're getting it out there, you're getting it out of your mind, you're getting it out of your body, you perhaps can write stuff down and tear it, um, scrunch it up into a ball and throw it across the room or put it in a fire 
um, put it in a recycling box, but allow yourself worry time as well. Because if you're constantly trying to be a zen, wonderful, beautiful, calm person, that's not necessarily going to help you release what it is that you're wanting to release. So put time in your diary to worry, set a timer, and when, when the timer goes, you literally pick yourself up, dust yourself off, go for a walk, have a bath, have a shower, and imagine just washing all of that away when you're in the shower and the water taking it all away and putting it into the drains to flow away and be um, renewed uh, whatever it is whatever it is that will help you move past that but do allow yourself to think about these things because it, it makes a massive difference I cannot tell you how much this has helped me in the past when I've been having stressful stuff because what it does is that when I'm you know, the rest of the time when I start going, I'm like, no, that's not till five o'clock. No, that's not till five o'clock. It allows me to get on with my day, take practical steps to move past whatever it is that's causing that anxiety and depression at that time. Whether it be, you know, it could be something to do with work, it could be something to do with home life, it could be something to do with relationships, it could be finances, whatever it is that's causing that worry. Um, there are always practical steps that you can take to move past that situation and change the situation that you're in. There are always practical steps, which is one of the things we do with Seeds of Change is to write what, break it down, what are the steps that we need to do whilst weaving in mindfulness, meditation, um, amazing techniques like this, whilst actually having a plan to move past it. So by allowing that that time for worry, it allows you the freedom of the headspace to actually take the practical steps to move past it and you sort it out. It's amazing. So I hope that helps. That's a little tip for today to help you move past anxiety and depression because that's something that so many people suffer from. Um, and it is the, ham you know, that's what I do, help people go from hamster wheel to happiness. So I hope that helps. Enjoy scheduling your worry time as well as your meditation time as well as this. But, you know, it's really, it flips the switch and it's really good. So have the most amazing, 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 amazing day, amazing week. And if you would like to know more about the Seeds of Change program, if you want to have just a free virtual coffee, um, a free chat, whatever it is to find out more, do drop me an email on kate at mynaturalhappiness.com or click the button on, if, you're, if you've got this via an email, um, there'll be a button underneath to click and schedule a chat with me so that we can have a chat and find out more about you. I can find out more about you. Um, what's going on in your world and see if I can help, see if we're meant to work together. Have an amazing day with so much love. I hope this has been helpful. Kate at mynaturalhappiness.com, creator of the Seeds of Change program to help you go from hamsterville to happiness. Have a great day. Lots of love.